Okay, guys. This is the skunk guy and my little baby Lulu. We're going to show you how to make the exercise wheel that's behind me that she's been using for a year as of today. And she's gone 500, over 500,000 turns on it in a year and over 1,200 miles. And uh, I want to show you how it was made. And uh, it's going to be several videos, uh, first starting with the wheel and then the base. And I'll have some PDF, I'll have a PDF file. I'll try to have it with her documented. I have a computer on this wheel for a year. And everything's was computed, her speed, turns, and miles, right, buddy? I don't know, you want to get down, you want to run. So in any event, you should be able to make one after you're done with all the videos. So here we go. Hey. Okay, the first thing we got to do is drill a hole, a quarter inch hole in the center of the four foot uh, plywood square. By the way, this is half inch plywood. Uh, both sides are good. They call it no knots. It's, it's nice and smooth. After we drill a quarter inch hole, then we're going to have to have three lines drawn on here in order to start working on this. So what I did is I made this like stick or board, whatever you want to call it. And right at the beginning, what you got to do, this is a one by three quarter, uh, 26 inch long piece. So about one inch from one end, drill a quarter inch hole, and then you can put any type of quarter inch bolt here. Once that hole is drilled, after you drill a hole in the middle, you can take this and it will go down in there. And this will act like a, uh, you know, a way to cut, uh, draw the lines that you're going to need to put this wheel together. Now on the other end, from the center line here, the, ver the first line is exactly 24 inches to the center of where this pencil is. Now what I did here, these, these holes here... This is a quarter inch hole on this side for the bolt. These are a letter L drill size hole. Uh, you can use a quarter inch uh, if you want drill bit. A 5 16th is going to be a little bit too big. But whatever, whatever size you can get a standard pencil in, and this is going to be what's going to control the, uh, what's going to line up the pencil to make the lines. Now, okay, uh, now we got to drill these three holes on this side. So we got these three. The first one is 24 inch from this bolt in. Now the next one is going to be drilled 7 eighths from the center line of this first hole that we drilled. So you drill another one seven eighths of an inch exactly. Everything we're doing at this part of the wheel has to be done as accurate as you can make it because all of this is going to determine on the, the, how well the wheel will be uh, turning at the end of this build. Then so that's one hole seven eighths in, and then from the same point, 24 inch, another hole is going to be drilled here, one and a half inches from this one. Now, once this is made, you'll be able to do whatever you have to do to get the pencil to stay uh, in here straight. Now, you, you don't want it cocked over to one side, and this will act, you know, as a drawing tool. Uh, to put the line on to the wheel. So the first line is the 24 inch line. So all you have to do is take any bolt, quarter inch, put it in the center, 
and push it down and this is going to give us the uh, position of where that the pencil will draw, I mean the uh, board will draw a line 24 inches as the radius. So just draw this line all the way around. If it happens to go off the edge of the wheel, that's okay. It might go off slightly, but it doesn't matter. We can fix that later. That's at the end of the whole build. Now after you draw that line, continue on, put, take the pencil out, put it in the next one, and then draw the second line. Then put it in the third one and draw the third line. Once, once you have all the lines drawn, then what you got to do is take the saber saw, which is pretty much the only saw you're going to be able to cut this out on, just cut the outer hole or the outer uh, line, which is going to be here. This is an example. In other words, when you do this, you're going to have this pencil line. So you, I don't know how good you can see it, but I just drew that line. Now you want to draw three lines, the first one, the second one, and the third one. And then the saw that uh, you use, let me see here. You can use, you know, a regular saw like this, or whatever you have. And pretty much this is the saw you'll need, one of these. To cut that outer circle. So now the next thing to do is cut this outer circle so that this is round, and you have, and you'll will have the two inner pencil lines uh, on here after you cut the last pencil line out to make this a 48 inch diameter. So we'll go ahead and do that now, and then I'll be back.